Are we too zoomed in? Is this too close? I'm not sure. Hi guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian, and today I thought I would sit down and do a tutorial where I only use drugstore products. Duh. If you see my hair blown in the wind, it's because I have a fan over here. It gets very hot in this room with the lights and whatnot, so. Here's what's going on. I was going to run out to the store really quick and like purchase some new items to do for this drugstore tutorial. And I thought, Bailey, that's a really dumb idea because I already have drugstore products that I use and I like. So why go get new stuff? I'm just gonna use the stuff that I already like. <laughs> Groundbreaking. You did it, Bailey. You conquered YouTube. If you like conquering YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'm here for you every Saturday and Monday, unless something happens. Occasionally it does, and that's life. Anyways, so this is gonna be very exciting. Couple of things. One, I don't have an eyeshadow primer that's drugstore. So I'm just gonna use my Catrice. I just had it. The Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. This lasts 12 hours, they claim. It's waterproof and non-transfer. I have the shade Light Biscuit. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna use this as my eyeshadow primer. Now I already have in my mind what kind of look I wanna do. Therefore, I'm gonna do it. I don't, <laughs> okay. Then I'm going to use a brush to blend it out. So this is an e.l.f. brush. It's like a flat all over shadow brush using this to blend out the concealer. I wanna do a smoky eye because in my mind, I wanna look glowy, dewy, glamorous. E.l.f. brushes, now I'd be lying if I said that they lasted me a long time. They never last me a long time. Maybe a couple washes, they start to fall apart on me. Maybe they've gotten better. But honestly, they're great brushes to get you by if you're looking to just get some basic brushes. Definitely, e.l.f. brushes are great. You know, you get the higher quality brushes when you're ready to invest in a brush set that's going to last you a long time. Um, these ones are newer though. This one's called the eyeshadow brush. Okay. This is a brush set from e.l.f. It's called the Smoky Eye Kit, I believe. But you get all of these brushes. You get this one, which is a small precision brush. You get this one, which is like a small angle brush, blender brush, blending brush as well. And then the eyeshadow C brush. So all of these come together. It's a great set. Again, if you're just kind of looking for the basics to get you by, just because it says smoky eyeshadow set doesn't mean it's just for smoky, even though that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, really. The Maybelline New York Matte Plus Metallic Eye Duo Stick. And this is when they did like a collab with Puma. And this end is a matte. And then on this end is a shimmer. So it's a cream. And I'm not sure if they sell this exact one anymore, but they do sell one that's called the Tattoo Studio. It's like an eyeshadow stick and it's just one color versus being dual ended. And I just want this matte black shade. I kind of jump the gun. Before I do that, I need a crease color. Makeup Revolution London Chocolate Elixir Eyeshadow Palette. Now I just wanna do like a crease color. So you could use a bronzer if you wanted to or any matte taupe shade that you already have. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy this. Okay, cool, glad we had this talk. Now going into my e.l.f. brushes, I'm gonna use this one. It's called the blending brush. It's See how skinny it is and stuff? I like that because it'll find the crease for us. And I'm going to use this shade, this one right here. And this I'm going to place right into my crease. Yeah, I didn't realize how many like drugstore favorites I already have. I was about to go out and buy a bunch and I was like, what am I doing? First of all, I'm really, you guys, I'm really trying to do a no buy. And I didn't like announce it because I didn't want to set myself up for failure, okay? And get called out as soon as I failed. But I keep getting, you guys keep sending me recommendations of things to purchase and try. And I'm like, well crap, how am I gonna do a no buy, but also try new things? I don't know. The only time I decided I will buy, cause I also freelance as well. Like I have a couple weddings coming up that I'm gonna do. So I probably will have to buy like eyelashes. I might have to buy like some stuff for that. But for the most part for personal use, I really, really, really wanna try and just chill out. Now I'm coming in with this product. Now it's like a chubby pencil type of deal. So I'm going to place this 
at my lash line. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna get it on there. And then I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow brush, but I'm now going over the black, so I'm just kind of like pulling it down because I don't want the black eyeshadow to go all over the place. Am I talking too much? Okay, so it definitely looks a little crazy right now, but now we're gonna come in with a matte black eyeshadow. So the only matte black eyeshadow I could find was from this Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Quad in House of Thorns. So this is when they did like that rose collection. I think it was called like Punk Rose or something. Shit, I don't even remember, but it's a matte black. So any matte black you have will work because we have this cream down first and the cream will give the eyeshadow something to stick to and make it just a really dark black. So that's why a lot of the times in my tutorials, I tend to put eyeliners down first because it will give the eyeshadow something to stick to and either make it more vibrant um, darker, smokier. Anyway, so I'm patting this onto the lid. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just get it on there. I'm using this, the blending brush, just to come back and forth and soften that black. If you've been following me for quite some time, I'm sure you've heard me say this from the beginning, okay? I love an imperfect smoky eye. Okay, brown smoky eye, black smoky eye, purple smoky eye. I just love it when it's imperfect and messy. I don't know, it's ev it's everything to me. <laughs> I hate when it's too perfect. When I first started getting into makeup, it's what I've loved. Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Now, if you watched a lot of last year, I was using this nonstop because it was like, my favorite, okay? Like this one because it will keep me more matte all day without making me look dry. I don't know how they do it, but they do it. I'm normal to dry and it doesn't make me look dry, which is just unheard of when it comes to a matte foundation. Oh shoot, it's leaking. This is the color 34 medium beige and it actually might be too dark for me, but this is called the foundation swirl. It's got like a swirl tip to it. Just applying this onto my face, you guessed it. This foundation will give you a really nice coverage. And again, it's matte, but not drying. I was reading that it's a not like a, a dupe for Fenty Beauty Foundation. I don't know though, because I do have the Fenty Beauty Foundation. That one I felt like was just way too dry for my skin. Um, this one I, I feel like isn't that dry. Also, this is an e.l.f. beauty sponge. It's called the Total Face Sponge and I got it wet. It got huge. It was like tiny. I'm gonna use this. Whenever I use this foundation, I'm always impressed because I mean, look, it pretty much covered my hyperpigmentation and nothing ever covers my hyperpigmentation. I mean, a round of applause. Also, I got my roots done. That's why I look different. I couldn't figure it out. Next, I have the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer Light Biscuit 18, which I used on my eyes as my eyeshadow primer. Now, this is a nice, concealer. I won't lie though, I haven't found a good drugstore concealer that I, like I've been just like wow about. I've tried a lot. Um, like I have the e.l.f. one. I used it in a couple of videos and I did like it, but I would notice like throughout the day, it looked awful. It looked like you could take your finger and just scrape it off. It was really interesting. To set like my under eye and whatnot, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And I have the shade 10 Fair Light. Now, technically you can use this as like your foundation powder and whatnot. Going to come right under here. I'm using this as like my baking powder. The Maybelline Tattoo Studio. I have two colors here. I have light blonde and soft brown. I'll do like the light blonde up in the beginning and then the soft brown towards the edge. It comes with a brush when you purchase it, but I can't seem to find it. So I'm using the e.l.f. brush. I mean, these ones are so nice. They stayed put all day. They're easy to apply. Anyways, so yeah, last weekend, my sister, my younger sister got married. I'm so happy for her. And they're just so cute together. And they have a, a little boy, my nephew. He's a year old now. And he's just, oh my gosh, he's so adorable. He's like a little Gerber baby. I mean, if all of their kids come out looking like him, then they just need to keep producing, you know? It was just so goddamn hot. <laughs> When you got the spanks on, the hair, the makeup, I was like, I'm gonna fucking pass out. Okay, so now I'm gonna come back to this uh, Maybelline crayon thing right up in here. Then taking a small brush to smudge it. Smudgerella. 
Makeup Revolution Chocolate Elixir Palette. I'm gonna come in with this dark brown right here and place this right along the edge. Also, I'm not wearing hair extensions today. This is my real hair, right? And I feel so like naked and vulnerable. I mean, if you or anything like me, like I've been wearing hair extensions for so long or some form of fake hair for years. And like when you get used to that, you always feel so naked or so vulnerable when you just wear your real hair. You just can't win. Does this count as drugstore? Cause you can get this at Ulta. It's the Morphe Y2 brush. Now, one of my all time favorite bronzers is this one, the Maybelline City Bronzer. I have number 100 contour, but also just warm up the face. So in the hollow of my cheek, but also coming up onto my cheekbone, along my forehead. I look insane. I love it. It's very on brand. These bronzers are so nice. They do have a little bit of shimmer to it. They're not fully matte. I thought they were matte. No, this one looks to be matte. Sometimes it looks like it has shimmer. Ooh, I love that bronzer. So sides of my nose. Okay, so hear me out. I know I said I'm on a no buy, but exceptions. I did my sister's wedding makeup for her wedding day last weekend. And one of my staple products always in my kit is MAC Fix Plus, but empty. And I wasn't in an area or I wasn't like close to a Mac store where I could just go and pick one up really quick. So I was kind of Googling um, dupes for the Mac Fix Plus. And the one thing that came up was this bad boy, Elf Makeup Mist and Set. Now comparing the ingredients, they're almost identical. There were a couple of ingredients that were off as well, but this one was pretty like spot on. I picked this up, they had it in stock and I was like, okay, let's try it. It's the best. So I've been using this now almost a week um, on myself because I kept it for myself and I just spray my face and I do this I do this before my mascara because my mascara will always transfer if I spray my face with setting spray so I always do it before mascara okay so for highlight I'm going to be using the pixie by Petra delicate dew so it's two-tone and it's like a pinky one and more of like a champagne I would say elf airbrush stipple brush let's do more of this pinkier tone right here look at that it's so pretty. Cheeks. I like to do right above the arch of the brow, nose, above the lip, chin. Now we can also take a little bit of this. I just need like a small brush. And this shade right here, we could pop it right in the corner of the eye. Let's do right at the arch of the brow, just ever so lightly. Boom, shakalaka. Okay, so this is a public service announcement. Essence Lash Princess, are you familiar with it? It's a mascara. I've talked about it numerous times, numerous times. It's my favorite mascara. Essence Lash Princess. Now, boy, I have stocked up on these because at Ulta it was like, buy one, get one half off. Now these are $4 by itself. Buy one, get one half off. You best believe I got like six, okay? Anyways, guess what? they came out with a waterproof version. Now, 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 when I saw this, I lost my shit. First of all, I love this mascara, but if it's hot outside, which it's flipping, the world's on fire, it does tend to smudge up in here on me a little bit, a little bit down here too. It's nothing major, but it's still annoying. And so I've been wearing this for like two weeks now. And guess what? It doesn't smudge on me. This made me so happy, you have no idea. <laughs> If you can get this, I would highly suggest it. Just try it. And for $4, I think the waterproof is four. It's worth a try, trust me. So I'm gonna put on some false eyelashes. These ones, my ride or die, the Ardell Wispy Lashes. Now these I've been using for years on and off. Um, the 120s, they're just beautiful. They look great for every day, for going out. I mean, they're just the best. But these ones are the studio effects. So they're a little bit like more zhoosh. I am going to put my mascara on my lower lash line or my lower lashes, sorry. Okay, so now we need a lip. This is a lip liner from L'Oreal. It's called the Color Rich Matte, color 114 Mating Call. And then my favorite, the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, and it's the shade Caught You Bare Naked. This is sexual. This look says like, hey, you wanna hang out? 
All right, so that is the finished makeup look. So I got a package from this girl named Pamela and her brand is called No Label and she makes these super cute hairpins. Look at this one, it says Bailey Gucci. So I thought it'd be really cute to put one of these in my hair just to kind of finish the look, you know, like right in here. I'll leave in the description box where you can find these cute pins. So this is the finished look. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you wanna wear it? Let me know down below. Ooh, I, lo I love this. I love this. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know down below if you wanna see um, maybe a daytime appropriate makeup look using drugstore products. I feel like you could wear this anywhere though. I mean, I'm gonna go on a Target run right now and this is appropriate. Just remember, it's just makeup, it washes off. So like have some fun, lighten up, try something new. Why not? It washes off. I hope that you guys have a really good day today. You make good choices and I'll be seeing you guys later. Bye. Bye.